This was a really wholesome moment. After clinching their series against the Wild, Ottinger was interviewed and expressed just how grateful he was to be able to play Minnesota as it gave his parents and grandparents the chance to watch him play. For those who don't know, Ottinger is a native of Lakeville, Minnesota, which terrifies me because he's only 24 years old, and the idea of future Canadian international teams having to play either him, Swayman, or Hellebuck is just not pleasant. And I say that not only because he's obviously a great goalie, but specifically because because he thrives in the highest pressure situations. Last playoffs, he went three and four, but he had a GAA of 1.81 and a save percentage of 0.954. This year, so far in the first round, he went four and two with a GAA of just over two and a save percentage of 0.929. These are absurd numbers. If it wasn't for the very strange Rangers Devils series, which has made Akira Schmid look like some sort of Power Rangers super variant of Hashik Wa and Brodeur, plus just Igor doing Igor things, he would be leading right now the playoffs in save percentage and GAA for goalies above three games played. The Otters shutout time was broken today, but he put up a great performance as Minnesota fell 4-1 and Dallas moves on to the second round. And I've got to say, I can imagine right now, it's not a fun time to be a Minnesota Wild fan. If you count the bubble year, they've now been knocked out in the first round of the playoffs seven consecutive years with the one exception of 2019 when they missed playoffs. I mean, that's nothing compared to the almost mythical struggles of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but it's still pretty rough, especially for a team which has had real sustained regular season success, hence only missing one playoffs in a decade. I think the real story for the Wild is the degree to which Kirill Kaprizov was absolutely shut down in this series. In six games, he managed just one point. That's after a year that saw him get 75 points in 67 games. A nice standout for the Wild, though, Matt Zuccarello, five points in six games. I gotta say, as a Rangers fan, I absolutely adore Matt Zuccarello, and I loved him even more during playoff time. He's a gamer, and it's a bit of a shame that we won't be seeing him anymore this playoffs. The other big story is one we've covered on the channel, Marcus Foligno taking so many penalties. He ended the series with 35 pims, and at least three of those were taken advantage of with Dallas scoring on the power play. I do also wonder, what's next for Marc-Andre Fleury? He got blown up in the playoffs this year, but he is back till at least 2024 with the Wild. Anyway, Anyway, Minnesota fans down in the comments, please let me know what you thought of this series and what you thought of the season overall. Also, just a reminder, and I know I've been plugging the hell out of this, please bear with me. We did start a new NFL channel in the style of Ek Hockey. I've got a full team together, including some really talented editors, writers, and of course myself. We are going to be putting up some amazing content. If you want to watch the most recent video focusing on the newly drafted Bijan Robinson, click on screen right now.